Everybody likes predictions. And now that the high limit racing roster is pretty much complete, we're going to discuss who we believe are going to secure charters in 2024 on this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9. I'd love to tell you there's going to be an upset at the top of this list, but there's not. Brad Sweet, Rico Abreu, and Brent Marks, in no particular order, should secure charters by the end of the season. Brad Sweet is a five-time defending outlaw champion and is the high-limit title favorite. Abreu and Marks, they're the best independents in the country and have everybody back on their team and should easily finish in those top three spots. As for fourth and fifth, that's where it gets a little difficult. I see as many as seven drivers competing for those final two spots, which should be an entertaining battle all the way till the end of the season. High limit newbie James McFadden tops the list of contenders. He's joined by Tyler Courtney, Justin Peck, Corey Eliason, Zeb Wise, Spencer Baston, and Corey Day. I have McFadden securing one of these spots. I like that he's back with Ralph Motorsports. He's coming off of a huge season in which he had six World of Outlaw wins, and there's been no turnover within his team that I know of. As for that last spot, good luck. It's a battle between Tyler Courtney, Corey Eliason, and Zeb Wise as I see it. I'm not sleeping on Corey Day. I believe he can win five races next season, but I also think he could struggle some nights. People forget that this is his first time on the road. He's going to be seeing new tracks, and he's also trying to finish high school. That's a lot for a teenager. As for Justin Peck and Spencer Baston, Peck has been carrying a black cat in his trailer the last year and a half and needs to shake it, and Baston still needs to get used to the tire package. So we have Sweet, Abreu, Marks in the top three spots, with McFadden fourth. I like Eliason to really push Courtney. He's flying under the radar a bit. He has Tyler Swank as a crew chief, and I think the schedule going to California shapes up pretty nice. I'm still going to give the slight edge to Courtney for fifth with Eliason and Wise following close behind. That's going to wrap up this edition of the Sprint Car Unlimited 90 at 9. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel and also check out our exclusive content at www.sprintcarunlimited.com.